one uh <laughs> one joke that i heard actually the other day related to fishing is uh why is it easy to weigh a fish because they bring their own scale Hello, Aubrey Angst here, and welcome to part two of our Sims 3 Midnight Sun Challenge Let's Play. We're joining Brooke back on the tiny island. So after thinking about it a little bit, I'm going to most likely travel as soon as possible. And by as soon as possible, I mean once her needs are pretty low. So to begin with, I think we're going to fish. And we're just going to see what comes up. Um, let's see. So in case you missed last episode, our traits are adventurous, brave, athletic, green thumb, and angler. Like Chinese music, autumn salad, and Irish green. We have no relationships and it's going to stay that way. No career, it's going to stay that way. No skills, hopefully that'll change. And all we have to our name is a high school diploma that we can't even sell. So, lifetime rewards that I'm going to be interested in. I think Prepared Traveler is definitely going to be pretty high on the list, but maybe not first thing. I think Observant is going to be pretty important. The reason I want to get Observant is because when we are traveling... We're going to meet a lot of sims, but um, we're not going to really know what they're like. You know, it takes a while to get to know sims, right? So with the observant trait, you actually learn their traits, their first three traits, almost immediately when you talk to them. Actually, it is immediate when you talk to them. So that way we'll be able to figure out who we want to bring home with us because we do want to have somebody on the island with us that's a good compliment or basically that's going to be happy here. Oh, it's the paper boy. We can't talk to you, Enrique. I'm sorry. All right, so what popped up? Let's see. Learn bait for anchovy. Hmm. Learn fishing skill. Yep, we'll do that one. Take a class in fishing skill. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Sorry. Just going to get rid of that. And she's pretty happy, so we're already racking up some lifetime happiness points just because she's in a good mood. Entertained because she is an angler, so she likes fishing. So basically, she's living her best life right now. Even though she just crashed on this island, she's like, well, let's make the best of it. Alright, I'm going to speed up a little bit more. The reason I might not speed up too much right now is I am waiting for opportunities to pop up. Sometimes if you go too quickly, you just miss them. They pop up and then they're gone. So. Brooke caught a normal anchovy. I'm not going to read all of these, but uh, yeah. One, uh, <laughs> one joke that I heard actually the other day related to fishing is uh, why is it easy to weigh a fish? Because they bring their own scale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're actually probably just going to recycle that too. Alright. And we got our very first fishing skill. Nothing beats watching the sun rise over calm waters. Fishing is for sims of great patience and determination. The waters can be a cruel mistress, but with fishing rod in hand and the right attitude, any fish can be caught. Fish can be sold to the supermarket for simoleons, used as fertilizer, or cooked fresh at home as a tasty meal. I don't think that we're going to catch a goldfish here. I actually, when I was playing testing the island, I took a look at all of the different spawn points. And so I know, in general, which fish are where. So actually, let me mention that right now. So one of the ways that we could raise money relatively quickly, it wouldn't be super, super quick, but um, this spawn point right here next to the boat, in the middle of the night, there are death fish there. 
So you can't catch them until, what, seven? I don't know. I think if you're lucky, you might get it at, like, level five. I'm not really too sure. But essentially, if we get high enough level and we fish there in the middle of the night, Deathfish can bring in a pretty penny. So that can go a long way towards financing some stuff. Let's go ahead and just speed up again. All right, she wants to garden. All right, we can, we can garden. Where are we at? Almost 600 points. Not bad, not great though. We are halfway through the first day and she's, what, a fifth of the way? Yeah, so it's gonna be a while. Uh, once her needs start dropping down though, she is going to have some wants come up. So um, we might just get rid of this learned bait for anchovy. She got a jellyfish. Very nice, very nice. So once her uh, hunger goes down, she's actually going to want to buy a fridge. So that is what I'm waiting for in, as far as buying a fridge. Gardening? I know it looks like we're not just going to be able to garden. But did you know that if you buy a fridge, you can pull the vegetables out of the fridge? And right off the bat, you can plant lettuce and tomatoes. And I think because she has the gardening trait, I want to say she's going to get the skill either the first time she plants or when she waters them the next day. I think it might be the watering them the next day. And then she can also talk to them. So I think as soon as her desire to buy a fridge pops up, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, we are catching these fish. We could be selling them. Seven anchovy, wow, $38, woohoo, big money. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna sell them though. I think we might keep them and use them for fertilizer. I don't know, we'll see. All right, got another anchovy. Her needs are all still pretty good. Hunger is getting down though, so I'm, I'm expecting any time now. All right, level three fishing already, wow. All right, there's that fridge. All right, let's go ahead and buy a cheap fridge. Yeah, let's just get the cheap fridge. Wow, that spins real quick. <laughs> I don't remember them spinning so fast. Is it supposed to do that? I do have a, um, technically it's a mod. It's something that cleans up the game a bit so that it runs a little bit smoother. And I'm wondering if that's what's doing that. That's pretty funny, if so. All right, we'll go ahead and place this. Get those points. What are we at? Over a thousand. You know, she's not doing so bad in the point department. Maybe we wait for the 10K. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's so difficult because I don't wanna go too late and have her be too old, you know? And I also don't wanna spend too much island money on this island because how much does it cost for travel? I want to say it's like 1300 or something like that. Yeah, I don't really remember. So I, I and I don't want to cut it close. Oh, and, and this mailbox is driving me bonkers. Why is it facing in? Why? Your poor mailman has to walk all the way around it. Not fun. Not nice. Okay. Let's actually just plant right here, right behind the mailbox. Why not? Uh, let's go here. Do, do, do. Can we plant it here? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to plant these and then we'll plant the tomatoes as well. And I could make garden salad, but I like without paying for it because we had the lettuce already, or sorry, the autumn salad but I'd rather plant it and just pay the like little bit of money because we don't have any other option to grab vegetables, essentially. So, all right, what do you got? She wants to catch an excellent anchovy. Eh, maybe, we'll see. She caught a great one already, so. She's actually doing really well with the fishing. That's pretty impressive. All right. All right, so we gardened. 1,300 points already. All right. Hmm. 
Now, withholding disbelief about the fridge, she's not doing so bad as far as having landed on an island, being basically left to fend for her own, fend for herself. Brick is a green thumb, means she'll pick up the gardening skill more quickly than other sims. Have our money trade, blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay. So, yeah, she's she's gotten pretty good on the gardening skill just off of those. Now, there's other stuff in the fridge, but unfortunately, she can't plant this yet. Let's see. No plant. Level five. I think the garlic might be even higher. What's the garlic at? Level seven, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. We have 10 anchovies. Do we just sell them? I mean, we can almost make back part of our fridge purchase. Not really, but. All right, let's go ahead and have a quick meal of canned soup and wait for the next want to come in. All right, well, nothing's happening. She does have to go to the bathroom. She needs some energy. I think once she decides she needs a bed, I might buy her a sleeping bag just to take with us, just in case. But I think, I think we might head out. Like she was, she was doing really good, but she's kind of slowed down with the wishes of things that we can do. Let's just buy a bed. 250 points. Spend $100 for 250. And yes, a sleeping bag does count, which is pretty funny. Do we buy it? Yeah, why not? Why not is because we don't have very many funds, but you know, whatever. All right, you know, maybe we will just put this in our inventory and get going. Caught a tuna. Nice. Ah. One thing about this island that is a little hard is navigating. So, all right, let's go ahead and travel. Exciting! Our very first vacation! Day one! I mean, we didn't get stuck here too long, I guess. So, all right. So, yeah, 1300. Okay, three days in China. We could go to Egypt it's a little more and France a little more than that. But I think we're just going to go to China. Uh, China is definitely a very, very nice place to go visit in this game. And, yeah. All right, I will... Uh, See you guys in a bit. So pretty. I love this world so much. All the colors. They did such a good building it too. It's kind of hard to like realize that this is the first expansion they did for The Sims 3. They did such a good job. Here we are. Oh my gosh. So many steps. All right. So where are we at? We're at 1685. We do want to hit that 5,000 to get observant as quickly as possible. And hopefully we can get there. 1750 is going to be a nice chunk to hop in there. Let's go ahead and check for adventures. She wants to explore a tomb. Perfect. Here we go. Seeking adventure. I am searching for an intrepid adventurer who can retrieve an ancient relic for me. I've searched all over town and no one has the guts. Please contact me, Lu Z, if you are interested. Oh my gosh, I think I butchered that. Lu Z. All right, let's go ahead and report in. 
Brooke Ava has visited China and will remember it as an exotic place full of bicycles, martial arts, and delicious dim sum. Ooh, there's some little... Oh. Is that moths? Butterflies? Something. We could collect those. Um, probably won't right now. At some point we might. Oh good, this girl is not all the way across town. That's nice. <laughs> oh, whoa. What is going on over here? Treasure hunter. Thank goodness someone finally responded. Come on, there's work to do. I've heard rumors that a nearby tomb holds a valuable treasure. Retrieve it for me and you'll be handsomely rewarded. You'll need this key to get into the tomb. What are you waiting for? Get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and retrieve the ancient relic. Reward is some visa points, simoleons, and ancient coins. We will accept, and we got 10 visa points for just coming over here and talking to her. I'm really curious what's going on over here, though. Are you telling a ghost story? Interesting. All the pays are out here. Just hanging out. I wonder if that's their house. All right. Well, I mean, if it's a nice day. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, while I should mention that while we're here, I'm going to be pausing quite a bit because we only have three days and we've got to pack a lot into here. So my main goals are reaching visa level one so that we can come back longer next time if we decide to come back to China. Meeting somebody who has good traits so we have to get the observant uh skill what is it called exactly oh my gosh <laughs> the observant reward and then getting them to fall in love with us and marrying them and taking them back with us so yeah that's that's a lot and then also maybe making some money because we got we've got pretty much like not too many funds you know We've got enough for right now, but I do want to buy some stuff here. Like, I really want to get the nice tent. My my thought is maybe if we get the nice tent, we can bring it back and, like, sleep in that instead of a bed. I don't know. We'll see. We might get crazy, but all right. So, yeah, we will be pausing quite a bit. So, let's go visit the Halls of the Lost Army. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use the Ultra Speed to get there, though. So I really like current action four or ultra speed four because it allows you to just go quickly and then once you finish it, you, it goes back to normal speed. So otherwise I would end up passing things so much because the speed just goes whoosh and all of a sudden it's like five hours later and you forgot to feed your sim, you know, those things. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and stand on, get this tomb going. And we are already at 4,000 points, that's amazing. So with the World Adventures pack, it does pause quite a bit when you do things like that. So when it things unlock, expect a little bit of lag. Ooh, we wanna find a hidden door. All right, so. We are at the entrance of the tomb. Let's go ahead and read that plaque. A note is scrawled on the wall. Every good advent or sorry, every good explorer should carry a tent and dried food at all times. The stairs close behind me, but luckily I'm prepared. I'm confident I'll find a way out any day now. Do you think they did? Or do you think we're gonna find a skeleton? Go ahead and insert the key. And let's go through that door. Looks like this tomb hasn't been disturbed in ages. The relic is bound to be here somewhere. All right, let's pull this statue. So there are, in these tombs, there's various puzzles, if you will. I've done these so many times, though, I might forget to kind of explain what I'm doing, but we did see the one where you step on it. It's got like the little foot impression I meant to pull far. 
these little pressure plates, you want to put something on it or stand on it yourself. Let's go ahead and collect the coins. Go through the door. You know, with these two combined, I think we're going to be at 5,000 when we're done with this tomb, which is very exciting. All right, letting us know we found some coins. All right, so again here, we've got a pressure plate. Let's go ahead and pull the statue onto it. And I believe it opens up the foot plate here. Yeah. Stand on that. And with most of the tombs, you do want to be checking the walls as well to see if there is anything going on. So like there might be a trap, a secret door. But I know with this one there's not, so we're just going to go ahead and push this far. Yeah, push it. So this is our very first trap that we encountered. It's a lightning trap, but can be blocked. All right, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and clear this. And the sound effects in this tomb, I love so much. All right, let's go ahead and hurry. And let's stand on this plate. There we go. And we found a secret door and this hole in the wall opened up as well. All right, let's go ahead and open these treasure chests. You can spend time moving these um, statues around, but I don't really see the point in this specific tomb. There's, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing. If you know of something that's in here though, please, please uh, let me know in the comments, but I believe it is nothing. All right, so we got a brilliant cut jade. Oh, 728. Uh, yes, please, let's sell that. <laughs> We found more coins and food. Medium quality, nice. That's pretty good. All right, let's go stick our hand in the hole. We went to buy something worth at least a thousand, or sorry, a hundred, which I think we can do. And this should unlock the door. I think we're gonna have to make a choice here pretty soon. We might get rid of the catch an excellent anchovy. Yeah. Found a hidden switch and activated it. Heck yeah. And then we've got a dive pool. Let's go ahead and explore that. I was hoping that she would come up with a want for it, but we did not. That's okay. We're, we're pretty close. I think we're going to get there. Brooke just sw swam past a giant clam with tattered clothing stuck in its shell. Oof. Found the bottom, doesn't look to have much breath left. She's quickly scanning the area. Let's swim through the tunnel. And open the chest. Scanning again, just out of habit from these tombs. Just to make sure that there's nothing. Oh, you also want to check the floor for traps. I did forget to mention that. And what I mean by check for things so like there is the the icon that shows you that something is available to do if you hover over certain things so that will happen on the walls and on the floor as well if there's something there reach the bottom can't see in the pitch depths feeling the area we do have our sleeping bag if everything goes bonkers and we can't get out of this first one but i think we can Let's go through the tunnel. All right. Let's go ahead and insert that keystone once you get out of there. All right, come on, give me the want to finish a tomb. I don't think she's gonna do it. Oh well. Oh, what was that? No! What popped up? <sighs> Ava will never forget the euphoria of emptying every treasure chest and finding every room in this tomb. And so we've completed it. So let's go ahead and open this one first. Because we want to find a relic and then I think it'll prompt us to want to find a better relic. And one of these should be... Oh, Dang it. It doesn't prompt us. Okay. Never mind. Technically, we found a relic. That should have 
should have been done. But I think this one is going to be worth 100. So that would have just knocked us up to the points. Now we're going to have to find 25 points somewhere. Yeah. Now we want to find a relic worth at least 50 simoleons, which we just did. Oh well. I guess we could go buy something. It could work. We're so close. Yet so far away. Alright, do we buy something while we're here? Alright, let's let everything load in. Maybe we do go buy something, like... I don't know, what do we buy? What do we buy? What do we buy? Let's go visit the market. To market, to market. You know, I don't really care what we buy. We're, we're buying something. She's actually still in a pretty good mood. Ooh, I know what we'll buy. Oh, she's dripping wet in their store. Aww. Alright, let's get the training dummy. Yeah, because we can't afford the tent yet. I say yet because I have a plan. I have a plan. Let's go ahead and buy that. And now, let's get our observant reward. Discover the traits of others twice as quickly. You guys want to see this in action? Friendly introduction to Mr. Li Yuan here. So we discovered he's a perfectionist, ambitious, and handy. Oh, word to the wise. I've tried this and um, got really messed up because I decided that one of the vendors was pretty neat. And so I wanted to woo them. Now, normally that's okay because I, I believe you can invite them over to your house possibly. But um, yeah, they won't want to marry you. They won't even want to go on a date or do anything because they're working if you try to woo them while you're on vacation. So unfortunately, yeah, the vendors are a little bit off limits on this challenge in particular. Another sort of my own personal rule that I'm going by is I would like to not split up relationships if at all possible, which should be possible. Um, so yeah, if somebody's already married, already taken, not gonna pursue. Even if I find some the perfect person, doesn't matter. Alright. Excellent work. This will look great on my mantle. Here's your reward as promised. So we got 35 visa points, 500 simoleons, and 10 ancient coins. And we got visa level 1. Heck yes. So we already did one of the goals. So let's, let's see. It's, you know, it's not too late, but I think we are going to go to base camp and try to enact my second plan for money. Let's go check for adventures. I'm just going to wait here for her. And fingers crossed that it's there. Okay, not this one. Check. Check again. I think you're allowed five checks. Two pieces of lapis lazuli. Nope, not it. Five medals. There we go. All right. Telescopic medal. Hello, Brooke. My name is Liang Yatsen. I've been studying the Dragon Cave for years and found that with so many tourists these days, it's much more peaceful and productive to study it from home, away from the tourist commotion. 
To do this, I'm building a telescope, and I'm wondering if you'll assist me in collecting five metals to construct the telescope. I'll pay you for your services. All right, we're going to take this adventure. However, there is one big reason we're taking this. Whoa, there's nothing there. Oh, well, there's a little bit. So a lot haven't spawned in yet. Right now it looks like it's just a bunch of mercury. But it's going to show us where all of the metal is. Oh, there's a bunch over here. So with the metals that spawn in, just imagine that everything that starts with P, like platinum, plutonium, um, what's the other one? Palladium? Something like that? I don't remember. Anyways, anything that starts with P, you're going to get pretty decent money. Mercury as well gives you a good chunk of change. Um, but silver and gold, not so much. You can collect them if you want, but... Are you guys up here reading books? I believe they are, and they are married. That is... That is another thing. Alright. Um, why are there not many books in here? Is it because they have them? All right, you, you see nothing. Pretend that this is not happening. Oh, there's a lot of books in this one. All right, if you notice, <laughs> it's a zero. If I were to sell it right now, I'd get nothing. However, if you take them home, you get a lot of money for some of the books. So those are just gonna be like our backup money. I, I really don't like selling books. Um, I would honestly more rather have a nice collection of books at the home eventually. So that's just going to be like a last resort. We're going to do that. You know what? Let's actually have dinner. Why not? Let's have an autumn salad. There's lettuce in there already, so it'll be free for us this one time. I want those books that they have. <laughs> but yeah. And also, when you're in a tomb, if you get bored, you can always read a book. Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to put it? Stalking her for her book. Yoink. Alright, go ahead and hurry up. And she's so happy because that is her favorite food. Yeah, I'm going to guess that they're buried in some sort of relationship, something. So we're not even going to bother with him. Where'd my plate go? Did... What? Excuse me? And she's serenading me. That's really nice. <laughs> Alright, I think day one might be a success. I think we might just go to sleep and then tomorrow try to find somebody. We're going to sleep in the nice upstairs bed so nobody else gets it too. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here and I will see you next time and we'll be on day two in China. Thanks for watching and have a great day.